Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a native Zcash miner for Mac OS X. So all that means is that you can run this program within your normal uh, Mac desktop setting. So you don't need to use any uh, virtual boxes, virtual machines or anything like that. You can just run it as a normal program right from your Mac desktop. So on the actual screen, what I've got is a screenshot of how I was running a, a fork basically of the same miner. Um, but what I was actually doing was uh, using it within a virtual box. So we've got Ubuntu running within the actual Mac uh, desktop. So using that same sort of a miner, this is the Xenon Cat uh, version of it. And uh, with that, I was getting just under eight solutions per second on four threads. Now bear in mind the, the virtual boxes, you can't access the full uh, system resources because they are kind of a virtual machine. So kind of one machine within your main machine. So you can't access the full resources. Um, but I just wanted to show you exactly what I was getting uh, prior to using this new miner. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue on and I'm just gonna show you how um, I got set up with the miner and um, the performance and results that it gave me. Okay, so we'll just get started by downloading the actual miner itself. So just start up by opening your Safari browser and you can just do a search for Zcash uh, native Mac miner or alternatively I'll put a link in the actual video description. So this should help you find it a little bit uh, quicker than I did initially. Uh, so if you look down in the actual list, you can actually download it or there's a link directly from it from the Zcash forum. So just on the actual Zcash forum, you can see that it's like the official uh, thread and it's actually done by a guy called Just Van Bloom. He's also got a link to a GitHub page where you can download the latest versions of this uh, Zcash Mac miner. So I downloaded the zip file for version two. Just wait for that to download and then we can go to our downloads folder. It's in a zip file, so we just need to extract it. So like I say, I'm using version two. Um, it's also worth uh, noting that version two um, only supports the latest version of Mac OS X, which is 10.12.1. Uh, um, but there is actually a new released version, which is if you download version three of this uh, Zcash miner, you can actually use it with Mac OS X 10.10, .10, which is what a lot of people are using. Um, actually, just uh, this video here, uh, I kind of got run into a stumbling block and I had to update my version. Okay, so the Mac has now been updated. I'll just show you what I'm currently using. So if I go about this Mac, I'll just show you the actual uh, processor that's inside and also the current version. So the processor is a 2.5 gigahertz Intel um, i5 and the current version that we're running is 10.12.1. So now we should be able to run the actual Zcash miner without too much difficulty. Uh, one other thing I've done as well is just got my uh, pool details, worker details. So I've got my Zcash address, my worker details for the pool and the actual pool address. I uh, should be able to use those with the miner. So I've just done that ahead of time. So let's continue on now. Uh, we need to go to the downloads folder where we downloaded the actual miner to. And it's just at the bottom there. And then we've got the zip files, we already extracted it. So now let's see if we can actually run the miner. Uh, just a security notification to let us know that it's, um, you know, do we definitely want to open it, which we do. Appears to be a new update. I think we'll just stick with the one we've got for the time being. Okay, so at the top it's got um, your Zcash address, then your password, and then the server and port. Um, but I think what we can do is, uh, because this works on a fork of the um, NiceHash uh, EQ miner, I think what we can do is our uh, worker name, 
password and then our pool. I think that we can do it like that. So uh, let's try it and we'll see how we get on. Password is X. Uh, need to port as well, which I think was twenty one forty two. And we'll go with four threads. Um, let's just try that, see how we get on. Okay, looks like we've connected to the pool. Um, you've got the actual command line interface. It's just um, uh, broken into this window here, so that's quite helpful. And we're using the Xeon Cats uh, AVX solver, which is the same one that I was using in the screenshot uh, at the start of this video. Okay, so the actual solutions per second is picking up bit by bit. What I'll do is um, I'll just let it run for a few minutes and then we'll see how we're doing. Okay, so I've left the Zcash miner running for around 10 minutes now. And we've kind of uh, evened out on the actual hash rate. So we've been getting just over or just under um, 12 solutions per second. And that's with four threads running. I just double checked on the actual Supernova website just to confirm that the actual shares are being reported and you can see the hash rate is a little bit lower now but it's um, coming up to its um, true stated uh, value so that all appears to be working fine uh, one other thing was I just wanted to check the actual load on the actual machine itself so I'm just going to go to the actual system monitor okay so that appears to be working fine what I'm going to do now is uh, just stop the actual miner I was hoping it wouldn't actually just pause it, not uh, close it. Uh, let's reopen it. I just want to run it with one less thread because sometimes with the Intel chips, with hyper threading and stuff, um, sometimes if you use one less thread than the, um, the CPU cores, you can get better performance rather than using all of the CPU cores. So I'm just going to test it with uh, three threads and see how we do. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take a while to build up this average hash rate. It does take quite long. In the normal um, command line interface, the actual hash rate picks up to its true value in just a couple of accepted shares. Um, but this one, it's quite delayed. It literally takes, you know, a good sort of um, five or six minutes to actually get up to its true value. Um, so I'll save you guys the bother and I'll just cut back to this in just a moment. Okay, so about 10 minutes has passed now since that last little section. And um, you can see with three threads, we are mining slightly faster. So we're getting one extra solution a second um, over using the four threads. So this is something that if you have a i5 or i7 processor, um, any basically processors that support hyper threading, uh, you would just want to experiment with the number of threads or cores that you're going to be using. Um, typically, uh, from my experience, I've found that uh, rather than using all of the actual process in power, Sorry, just uh, continuing on there. So yeah, as I was saying, rather than using all of the actual uh, cores of your CPU, if you typically use uh, one less core, um, then sometimes that can result in higher performance. So just experiment with those number of threads and um, see what works best for you. Um, but we're looking at a pretty uh, positive experience using this miner. Um, they've just released a new update as well, so I'll be taking a look at that later on this afternoon. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased with the performance. It's working a lot better than the VirtualBox version, um, but that was pretty much a given anyway, uh, because obviously in that VirtualBox, you're kind of uh, restricted and using a lot of other uh, system resources. So that's all working really well, and I'm really pleased with the performance. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.